Steve Kim here. So excited. Steve Kim Show episode number 166. The much anticipated August stats are in. And as usual, I got your numbers and your stats as they pertain to the detached and townhome markets for both Toronto and pockets of the GTA. So let's get right into the numbers. So that average detached property back in July 2021 in Toronto was trading around $1.63 million. Fast forward into August 2021 is now trading on $1.67 million. What happened in Richmond Hill? That average detached property in July was trading around $1.83 million. Fast forward into August and now trading around $1.82 million. And in Markham, we went from $1.7 million for that detached property in July. No change to August, now trading at $1.7 million. In Vaughan, what happened? Back in July 2021, that average detached property was trading around $1.63 million. Fast forward into August, we do see an uptake, is now trading around $1.8 million. Now, right across the board for detached properties for both Toronto and pockets of the GTA, we're still very much in a seller's market. So for detached market for months of inventory in Toronto, we went from 1.3 in July to 1.3 into August. In Richmond Hill in July, we went from 1.7 and into August, we stayed the same at 1.7 months of inventory. In Markham, we went from 1.1 in July to 1.04 into August. And in Vaughan, we went from 1.4 down to 1.1 into August. Now, what happened for townhomes in both Toronto and pockets of the GTA? That average townhome property in Toronto back in July 2021 was trading $1.17 million. Fast forward into August, not much of a change, now trading around $1.16 million. In Richmond Hill, we went from 1.11 in July to 1.17 into August. In Mark, we went from 1.12 in July to 1.18 into August. And in Vaughan, we went from 1.08, no change to $1.08 million into August. Now, months of inventory. This has been very, very much a very competitive housing segment for both Toronto and pockets of the GTA. And this is largely due to the incredibly low levels of inventory. So in July for townhomes in Toronto, months of inventory, we're hovering on 1.3. Into August, we dipped down to 1.1. Richmond Hill, we went from 0.6 six, nine months of inventory into July down to 0 0.5 months of inventory into August. To put this number into perspective, if we took all the townhome properties in August, they would sell out completely in about two weeks. Pretty crazy. In Markham, we went from 0 0.52 into July to 0 0.9 into August. And then in Vaughan, we went from 0 0.75 into July to 0 0.6 months of inventory into August. As we move into September and October into the fall market, I do anticipate seeing a little bit more inventory coming to market, but I also anticipate a lot more buyers entering the market now, now that they're back from summer vacation. Now, what happened year over year for that average detached property in Toronto? Back of August 2020 in Toronto, that an average detached property was trading around $1.51 million. Like I just shared with you right now, August 2021 is now trading around $1.67 million. That's about a 10.6% increase year over year for an average detached property in Toronto. Well, New York Region would happen back of August 2020, that average detached property was trading around $1.31 million. Now that average detached property in York region is trading around $1.62 million, which is about a 24% increase year over year for a detached property in New York region. Anyways, I hope you found these numbers and these stats useful. If you have any questions whatsoever, please feel free to give me a call, send me a text, shoot me over a DM or an email. As always, bring a big hat everyone. Take care.